Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here, and welcome to another Visual Basic 2008 tutorial. I guess this will be a continuation of my How to Make Your Own Software series, but we're actually going to be starting on a new, more complicated subject today. Uh, this subject is going to implement everything we've learned so far in the previous tutorials, and it's also going to add some new content. So what we're going to actually be making in this set of tutorials is a ver your very own web browser. Now if you don't know what a web browser is, I could give you some popular names of ones like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome. These are all examples of web browsers. So hopefully you know what a web browser is before you start this tutorial on how to make your own. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is open up Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition, which you should have downloaded. Then we're going to start a new Windows Forms application. I'm going to call it Web Browser Tutorial. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, while this loads, uh, we're going to start out with a basic web browser with not that much today, and we're going to add stuff to it as we move along with the tutorials. So, yes. Don't expect much in the first tutorial, but it will get you started. Okay, so once you have the main window open with your form, of course, um, we could start building our web browser. So first thing we're going to do is resize the form by dragging the side and the bottom of it. We don't want it too big or too small. And uh, we're going to go ahead and rename the form. Uh, we can click on the form to get to the form properties, which are down here in the bottom right hand corner. Scroll down to where it says text, and we're just going to type web browser. If you notice as we type this, it changes up on the top left hand corner of our form. Okay, so now that's done, we can add our main um, uh, tools, I guess you would call them. So, if we look, open up uh, my web browser, Firefox, we notice a couple controls that we use the most. One, this big box right here that actually displays the web page. Two, this big bar right here where you type in the web address. And three, these five, I think there's five, one, two, yeah, these five buttons right here that give basic commands. So first thing we're going to do is build the most important part this big box that displays web pages. Now how we do this is we simply go into the, our toolbox and then drag in the web browser tool. Then our whole form will turn white, which we do not want. So what we're going to have to do is click on this little arrow in the bot or top right hand corner and then press undock and parent container. This will make it movable and resizable, which is just what we want. We're going to drag it so we leave a little space on the left and right of it and a little space on the bottom of it. And then we're going to make it so when we resize the form, this area actually gets resized as well. So we're going to click on the web browser and then we're going to go up on its properties to anchor. And we're going to anchor it to the left, the right, and the bottom. So every time the form is resized on the bottom, the right, or the left, this will follow it. Okay, our next step is going to be to actually add this text box up here, which is just as it's called, a text box. So we're just going to add a text box into our project. And we're also going to add a button to the right of this text box. This button will serve as the Go button. Okay, we're going to click on the button and scroll down to the properties to where it says Text, and we're just going to type Go pretty simple, right? Okay, so now we're going to resize the web browser and we are going to start our coding. Uh, the coding is the basic main mainframe that makes up the program. So how the program is going to work is we're going to input a web browser address or an, an address in here, right? Then we're going to press the go button which then will make the uh, web browser navigate to whatever is in here. So we're going to do exactly that. So we're going to press the Go button, double click the Go button to open up the Go button co coding. So first thing we want to do 
is check if there's actually text inside the text box. Because if we press go and there's nothing there, we're going to navigate to an empty page. So, since our text box is called text box 1, that's what we're going to say. And we're also going to use an if statement for this. So, if text box 1 dot text, which is everything that's inside the text box, equals quotation quotation. Empty quotation marks means nothing. So if there is nothing in the text box, then we're just going to have it do nothing. Okay? But then we type else. So any, everything that is after the else means if something is inside the text box. So the opposite of what we typed up here. So we're going to type else web browser 1, because this is what our web browser is called, dot navigate. And then we're going to go in parentheses. Okay, so so far we have it. So it checks if the text box is empty, which if it is not, we are telling the web browser to navigate using the dot navigate command. And then um, it asks for where it wants us to navigate to, as shown here, URL is system.uri, which we have to declare inside these parentheses, parameters as we call them. So the URL is going to be what's inside the text box. So we're going to type text box one dot text. Close parentheses. And that should be it for this coding. So then if we run our project, we can check everything we've done so far. So yes, the window is entitled Web Browser. If we enlarge it over here, yes, the, uh, the Web Browser does in fact follow it and grow with it. Okay, so this could be a problem. So now what we're going to want to do is type in the web address we want to go to. So let's say we want to go to google.com. Then we're going to press the Go button. And would you look at that? Down there, it is google.com in this box. But it said if we typed in nothing in this box, do nothing. So we're not going to type anything in the box, and we're going to press go. If you notice, nothing happens. We could press it as many times as we want, and nothing would happen. OK, so thanks for watching this tutorial, part one, of how to create your own web browser using Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Uh, in future parts, we're going to be covering all five essential buttons, and we're going to be typing some uh, safe locks so the program does not crash if a user types certain things into the address bar. So make sure you subscribe for those, and thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in next tutorials.